Hey guys, it's been Noah. Um, you're probably tired of my voice by now, but anyways. I am just trying to figure out what I can show you guys. What is What can I show you guys? I've built this little jail structure. I've stuck the Agatha spawn point inside of it. I've changed the um, properties of the ballista. I've put in a... Uh, catapult um, I'm just showing you some content browser stuff right now just because it's convenient it's easy um, and it's what I feel like showing you right now so let's say like a uh, ladders I want to get on top of this block here oh my god that's gigantic let's grab this one now if you type in a keyword remember if you like hit static meshes type in a keyword it'll bring up all the static meshes that you can spawn so like that or say this board if you're feeling woody uh, these stairs I don't know see how it is you drag it up there you go you got some steps uh, here's some actual wood stairs for some reason it doesn't want to spawn above ground so you do that Anyways, I want to get on top of that block there. I place it down. I don't want to be in jail, so I go to the masons, because masons are great. I can walk through my door. I can walk up my steps. And I can go up the ladder to the top of the block. Now, this block sucks. It, it, it's plain. I don't like how it is. I'm going to select materials and I'm going to slap that on it looks kinda weird I'm gonna put that one on it I don't really like how that looks I'm going to type in gold because everyone loves gold so uh, you know what constant material constant material constant there we go this is cool uh oh. There we go. Uh, you can tell it's like a mapping for a gold pig. A lot, a lot of these things that you come across, they're just material mappings for uh, objects that are wearable in the game or equipable. Here's some other gold. Uh, here's some more gold. You know, stuff like that. You can, you can any static mesh you can color. So. <laughs> This helmet I could place on these stairs and it looks all weird and shit. Um, I don't know, this thing right here. Take it on, put it on. Ooh, nice gold stairs, man. Oh, thank you. So, any static mesh. And, you know, you can bring up all different kinds of things by, by selecting or deselecting uh, these preferences here. So, I want to bring up a skull. I type in skull. Here's a skull. I want to make this skull absolutely massive. So I go like this. I want to take that skull and I want to fling it way the hell down over there. Oh my god, that's gigantic. You know, look at the size of that thing. I want to make it a little bit smaller. And I, you know... Oh. That's cool. You know, there's a skull over there now. I want to go over here. Uh, go to actor. There you go. I don't know. I want to duplicate the skull that way. I want to change this skull. I want what I want to do if I want to change it in place. Go to select this one. Right click. Uh, er, 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 replace with add static mesh oh cool thanks vanilla I didn't know that I want to replace this one with that one exact same thing or maybe I can do that no no I can't uh, replace with that one I want all of these skulls to I don't know, shoot way down into the horizon. I don't know, it looks, looks kind of cool. 
it's ve the the UDK editor is very diverse, very simple. It, it, it's simple when, once you get to know it, once you get used to it. Otherwise, it, it's a pain in the ass trying to figure it out. You know? So, these tutorials that I'm just putting together are just very basic, bare bones stuff that hopefully will help you trying to figure things out.